Welcome back to the WNC Nature Center. Today we'll be measuring humidity. Humidity is simply the amount of moisture in the air. It may surprise many of you to know that there's actually water in the air we breathe. Today we'll be measuring the relative humidity with our sling psychrometer. The science of humidity is fascinating and can be very complex. Today we'll keep it simple. Just remember that hot air can hold more moisture than cold air. This is why we measure relative humidity. The sling psychrometer has two thermometers, a dry bulb and a wet bulb. Just like sweat evaporating from our skin, water evaporating from the wick cools the thermometer. The dry bulb temperature stays the same. The difference in temperature between the two thermometers indicates the amount of humidity. Drier air results in more moisture evaporating from the wick lowering the temperature of the wet bulb much more. Moisture air does not evaporate as much water from the wick, resulting in less depression of the wet bulb temperature. Now that all this is clear as mud, let's do it. Of all the instruments in our adventure pack, the sling psychrometer is the most delicate. Therefore, only handle it when actually using it and treat it with the utmost respect. Remove the psychrometer from its case. Fold back the handle. Go ahead and note the dry bulb temperature on your data sheet. This is the thermometer without a wick. Notice that the lines on the scale are in one degree increments. Take the water bottle from the weather kit and wet the wick on the wet bulb. You are now ready to spin the instrument. In a controlled manner, spin the psychrometer in a tight circle. Allow anyone you are working with to spin it as well. Once you've spun the instrument for at least 20 seconds, read the wet bulb temperature. It should be several degrees cooler than the dry bulb temperature. Now that we've written down both our dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures on our data sheet, we can use those numbers in combination with this chart to actually find out the relative humidity in the air. Over here on the left hand column, of our chart are the dry bulb temperatures. Along the top row, you'll find the wet bulb temperatures. So our dry bulb temperature was 84 degrees. So I'll go down to 84, and I'll actually use a ruler to aid my eye so that I don't get confused. And I'll place that ruler right along the bottom of that line. And I'll take the other ruler and do the same thing with the wet bulb temperature. Our wet bulb temperature being 68 degrees, is right there. So I'll take the other ruler and just to the right of that column, I will place that ruler to guide my eye down to the corner here where those two lines intersect. In that square you'll find two numbers and it's always the bottom number that is the relative humidity. In this case, 45% is the relative humidity of the air at the time we used our sling psychrometer.